Learn and play online. In today's video, we are going to learn about equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same value but have different numerators and denominators. Let's have a look at some examples so you can have a better understanding. Here we have one whole circle. If we take the same circle and cut it into two equal parts, it would look like this. You can see that in this circle, one part out of two has been shaded. Let's use the same circle again, but instead of having two equal parts, let's cut it into four equal parts. We now have quarters. If we shade two parts out of the four, what do you notice? The same amount has been shaded. That's right. From these visual representations, we can see that one half is the same amount as two quarters, which means they are equivalent fractions. Let's try and find another equivalent fraction. We can take the same circle, but this time let's cut it into six equal parts. This means that the denominator is six, as there are six equal parts altogether. How many parts would we need to shade to make it equivalent to one half or two quarters? We would need to shade three parts. That's right. If we shade three parts, that will make it equivalent to one half as well as two quarters because they all represent the same amount shaded. Let's try one more example using the same circle, but this time we are going to have eight equal parts. If there are eight equal parts all together, that means the denominator is eight. To find the equivalent fraction as the fractions before, how many parts do we need to shade in this new circle of eighths? We would need to shade four parts. Well done! Four eighths is the equivalent fraction to all of the previous fractions we have looked at because they all show the same amount. There are other ways we can identify and represent equivalent fractions. One of the easiest ways is with a resource called a fraction wall. Here we have a whole rectangle. We are going to create equal parts with this rectangle as we did with the circles. We can create two equal parts, three equal parts, four equal parts, and so on. When we looked at equivalent fractions using the circles, we discovered that one half is the same as two quarters. Let's see if that is true on this fraction wall too. Here is one half. Here is one quarter and two quarters. As you can see, they both show the same amount. Looking at the fraction wall, can you see the next fraction that is equivalent to one half or two quarters? If you said three sixths, you would be correct. There are another two equivalent fractions to these ones on the fraction wall. Can you see what they are? The other two equivalent fractions are 4 eighths and 5 tenths. All of these fractions are equivalent fractions as they all show the same value. Now that you know what equivalent fractions are, using the fraction wall to help you, can you identify all the equivalent fractions for one third? Remember, equivalent fractions represent the same value. The equivalent fractions to one third, as you can see on the fraction wall, are two sixths and three ninths. We hope we have helped you understand what equivalent fractions are. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.